Grindelwald is dead, or at least the Johnny Depp version of Grindelwald is dead, and we will no longer see him in the Fantastic Beasts series. So today, what we're going to be doing is a recasting of the role for 10 actors that I have selected. We're going to be using a, a an app called Reface, and this will allow us to directly put their faces on the Grindelwald we know so far and see how well they fit. And it'd be awesome to hear back from you, from the 10 actors, who you feel could best play the role. So make sure to post in the comments section who you feel out of the 10 would be the best fit. And hey, who knows, we might actually see them in the role. If you didn't already know, Johnny Depp earlier on this week resigned from the role as Grindelwald. This came after a UK court hearing between him and a paper where the paper had alleged he was a wife beater and printed it. And Johnny Depp had sued them. The judge ruled in favour of the paper, suggesting that he was indeed a wife beater. And following that, Warner Brothers asked him if he could resign. Um, whether or not he is true, is a wife beater or not, I am not. I don't know enough about what went on between him and Amber Heard. If you didn't already know, that's where the domestic violence was alleged. Um, if it did happen. I understand not wanting to associate with that behavior and it being punished in some form of you know, not wanting to, to, to encourage it by supporting an actor who engaged in it. Um, if it didn't, then I feel sorry for him. If it, if it didn't, if he didn't actually beat his wife. But like I say, I don't know enough about that. Aside from all that, I feel like he played the role of Grindelwald very well and I will miss that continuity of him being in the next film. But we have plenty of other actors who can play the role. The character is still alive. So we will be casting 10 actors that I've selected who I feel would potentially be good for the role. As I say, let me know in the comment section below whether you are interested in them. If you do enjoy this, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out as well along the way. Right, let's get into it. So we are gonna be using this app called Reface and it is a clever app that refaces anything that you have to go onto it. So it, we can do it onto the GIFs. So it does have select movies. So if we go to um, Pro, we can actually cast over Johnny Depp, but not in the role of Grindelwald. So here we can reface. So this is the first actor and we'll go into them. The first actor that I selected is, it's not my favorite, but just an actor that I feel is up and coming at the moment and I've really enjoyed him recently. So this is a recast of Willy Wonka. Do you recognize the actor? Using Reface, we can Google already pictures of Grindelwald and we can use this and reface over the top of it. So if we take him in let's take this role so first of all we're going to be casting the role to anthony Starr, an up-and-coming actor at the moment features in the boys well known from the boys if you've not watched it watch it it's really really good this clever app allows us to reface completely over that so for me in this role i mean his face fits it i feel like one of the the the, the problems with the, with some of this casting is we're going to also look at is age is this is an older Gaelic Grindelwald and therefore we are going to need somebody who has that kind of age that Johnny Depp has. Johnny Depp is 57 years old so you'd ideally want to be matching that with somebody who has a similar age just to get that same kind of aged look and Anthony Starr is 45 so 12 years off is not a huge difference although he is quite a young looking Australian guy. So the next one I want to cast into the role is somebody, one who's a, a personal favorite, and I've seen online a lot of people like him for the role, Mads Mikkelsen. If you don't know, he's a Danish actor who has featured as bad guys before. You will know him if you've watched Casino Royale. He did an amazing job. He is a really, really good actor. If you've seen some of the films that may be not so popular, there was a one where he was accused of being a pedophile and it, 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 he was so good in it. Um, so I think he will be very, very good for the role. He is 54 years old, therefore he matches that age range that we're looking for. And this is what he looks like as Gellert Grindelwald. Okay. I mean, he's got, obviously, I think Grindelwald's from Austria. So 
He's got a, a decent look for it. Let's try some of the other refaces. I mean, the one where he is... There's a good one of him where he is... There we go. Being uncovered. His graves. Becoming Grindelwald. Yeah, I mean, he's he's he's, a, he's got a good bad guy face, hasn't he? Oh, he looks a bit sweet there. <laughs> hmm. I mean, look at the, the I mean, look at the intensity. Obviously, he's he's making that pose, and we are picking a select picture of him, probably when he's just trying to look, look generally smart. It's a very very clever app, isn't it? So Mads Mikkelsen is 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 one of my one of my favorite for it. Somebody online also created this in the Fantastic Beasts. Shout out to whoever made this. It works. It works all right. Next up, we have Christian Bale, 46 years old, so not too far off the age range. Um, this guy is a very, very, very skilled actor, and that's why I feel like he could play Grindelwald and do a fairly good job. So let's see how he looks when we mash his face up with Johnny Depp's and see whether he suits. Okay. See... I mean, not as great a job of doing a reface. I don't feel that fits at all, really. I'm not liking that. Maybe he's not going to be a good, a good fit for the role. Imagine if this was part of their casting, just using the reface app and seeing who works best. I'd probably say I like Mads. No, I don't think Christian Bale fits. What do you think? I'm going to say no. It might be that he's already got a brown moustache and that's throwing it off. Next up, we're going to try Benedict Cumberbatch, 44 years old, so a little younger. Um, I'm not so sure about this one. I feel like he's skilled at actor enough. I'm not sure he's a great bad guy. I think he, he plays the role of a very good kind of cocky, intelligent, you know, <laughs> I think, you know, Doctor Strange. Sherlock, he's good at that role. Um, but let's see whether he fits into the face of Gellert Grindelwald. Using this one because it's, it's, it's definitely the clearest and best one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this one. Okay. It's got the eyes right, hasn't it? I just feel the eyes are a little too... I don't know, a little too soft. I don't feel like he's got that edgy look. That Johnny Depp has. And Johnny Depp has quite a skinny face, doesn't he? Sorry, I'm not saying you have a fat face. <laughs> Benedict. A little bit rounder. A little bit rounder. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Let me know your thoughts on Cumberbatch. Now, this next one is a bit different in that the age is 31 of this actor. But there's a reason why I'm choosing him for the role of Gellert Grindelwald. It is Jamie Campbell Bower. You may not have heard of him. He has been in Twilight and he is uh, Gellert Grindelwald. So he plays the younger version both in the Harry Potter films and uh, Crimes of Grindelwald that we saw as a younger boy. That's where the problem is. They would have to age him up. Um... But he does look like quite a good fit for the role. I mean, obviously, they cast him for it just as when he was younger. So let's see how he looks as an older Grindelwald, whether he would fit. I feel like he's got the face for it, a little bit of skinnier face. He just looks too young, doesn't he? He does look very good for the role. If they could age him up, I think he'd be a very, very good Grindelwald as an older version. And that way, you are still holding on to somebody who is already existing within the Grindelwald, within the Fantastic Beasts series. So I, th I think that's a that's a difficult one. Let's look at him in the other, the other one. He's probably the clearest. Let's see whether he suits there. Yeah, he's just so young, just so young, isn't he? 
Next up, we're going from youngest to probably my oldest choice, uh, 63 years of age. And I feel like his, his hair's already going white, so he looks like he fits already enough. The actor is Daniel Day Lewis. Now, a very, very skilled actor, has a very, has had a very, very good career. Uh, he's just, the age is fitting very, very well. But is the face. I feel like he could fit in here. As I say, he's got that skinny face. Kind of edgy features. So does he fit, though? Oh. I think it's when, when, when the, uh... He looks very young. I'm not sure if he goes at all. The thing is, is do you want to go for a Grindelwald that looks like the Johnny Depp Grindelwald? You've got to, really, for continuity, don't you? It's hard when they don't all don't have white moustaches and white eyebrows. But, I mean, if his eyebrows were whiter, would he fit? He looks very young there, though, for what is an old actor. But this reface isn't going to be perfect. It will just give us a slight idea of what these people are like. And for me, Daniel Day-Lewis, at this point, doesn't fit. Now, the next choice is a German actor. Age range looks good, 51 years old. And he is lesser known than some of the other choices. So if you have watched Dark on Netflix, you will know this actor. Um, he is Ulrich Nielsen. Uh, very, very good actor. Really enjoyed him in the role. Does he fit, though? Let's see. He has he has the European-looking face that would probably suit the role. And mm, let's look at his features. Not too dark eyebrows. Therefore, might fit a little bit better with the reface. Okay. It's, it's an interesting one because it doesn't look massively like him. Mm, but this is an, an idea of maybe it gives a good impression of what it would be like with makeup on the face. He looks quite similar in this. I feel like he could fit. Age-wise, doesn't look too, too young like some of the others do. Let's reface him in this one. We'll give him an extra reface. Let's give him three refaces. Okay. Yeah, you're getting the. I'm getting the eyes. A little bit better than some of the other ones that we've seen, but I'm not sure it's it's the one we're one we're looking for. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Definitely. In the top five, I would say. Next one is a very, very popular actor. Um, I'm not sure how well he'll fit for this role. Honestly, I think I just chose him because nine actors, ten sounded better. So I think I just add him into the mix. And I'm not sure how well he'd play the role of a bad guy. But let's just see whether he fits or not at all. Robert Downey Jr., 55 years old. So the age is, is very, very, very much right. Okay. He's also got a, a a Graves vibe going on that's not too far from Graves. Now, some people have requested that the actor that will play Grindelwald is Colin Farrell. Like, loads of people online <laughs> have posted requests saying, please, can you cast Colin Farrell? So, may I suggest Colin Farrell? Question, can we see Colin Farrell return instead? He originally played Grindelwald and was great. Do, do you not understand? Messi understands. Colin Farrell was Graves, who Grindelwald was pretending to be. There's no way to explain Colin into the role of Grindelwald. It'd be a pretty bad disguise to have gone, I'm going to look exactly the same, but with black hair, basically. And now I am Graves, and you will not recognise me as Grindelwald. And it'd be a pretty bad Revelio, wouldn't it? It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be as shocking. It'd be like, oh, it just changed his hair. Remember when Colin Farrell was the first one of the same character and they could have avoided all this by just sticking with him? No. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> Colin Farrell could not have played Grindelwald. Let's just let's just state that. That's that's why he's not in these top ten of these pictures that I'm looking at. <laughs> right, so Robert Downey Jr. Not bad. 
not too not too bad a fit actually in terms of looks wise but i just don't think he can play a bad guy well enough has anybody has anybody seen him play a bad guy in a film he doesn't look too too bad there he looks better than some of the others that we've seen Second to last person that we're going to be looking at is somebody who definitely can play the role of a bad guy and can play a bad guy pretty damn good. It's Tom Hardy, a British actor who has been seen as Bane in Batman and does a great, great job in every film that he does, I feel. So let's see how well he fits into the role. Reface. Now he is a little younger, 43 years old. There... He doesn't... I'm not sure he fits very well there. Might be another who could be good for the role, but would look quite different to the original that we are expecting to see. All these guys will look a lot different with white makeup. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? I think as this one, I feel like he could fit. He could work. Just because I feel like he's a very good actor and could carry it. So he'd probably be in my top three of favourites to go into playing this role. Right, the final one we're going to be looking at is a 46-year-old actor, Joaquin Phoenix. Did an amazing job as Joker and I feel like he could play a bad guy. He's definitely a skilled enough actor. But does he fit the face? Maybe with that black, black moustache, he might not fit so well. Okay. Do you know what? I, I like him for this role in terms of looks wise. He's definitely got the eyes going on that are, are kind of fierce and menacing. To say like, do you actually think you can hold me? I don't think you can hold me. I don't think you realize how powerful I am. Let's see whether he fits in this one. He might, he might be in the top three. Yeah, he's definitely got the eyes. The eyes fit really well. Well, that's all of them. So, I mean, if you really want to, post your 10 to 1 or top three in the comment section below of who you feel would be best for the role. I am going to say my favorites are in first place, I'm going to say Mads Mikkelsen. I feel like he is definitely up there for me for the role. In second place, do you know what? Just because of the eyes, I'd be tempted to say Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin, just because his name's cool as well. And then third place would go to, just because I feel like he could play the role best acting wise. I'm going to say Tom Hardy. So my top three are Mads, Mickelson, Joaquin Phoenix, then Tom Hardy. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Always helps this channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon. Johnny Depp is dead. <laughs> Grinful. Do you recognize the actor? Do I recognize the actor? I don't know his name. <laughs>